Hi everyone, welcome back to Flora Fridays with Eco Trading. My name is Mike, and today we're going to be talking about this beautiful flower, uh, which is called a wild foxglove. And it's abundant at this time of year, the middle to early part of summer. They are sprouting up all over where there's disturbed habitats. Now, this plant is called wild foxglove, and you might have heard about foxglove from the European foxglove, but it has nothing to do with that plant. It's not related at all. It's actually closer related to sesame. And you can see this beautiful flower has uh, gorgeous little uh, dark stripes on a pale little landing strip. Now, this is a flower that's fallen off. They do fall off once they get old enough. And this landing strip here helps to attract bees and other insects that are used to pollinating this plant. And they are able to see that because of the ultraviolet reflections. And uh, bees and bumblebees especially love this plant. They can really fly right up in there and land and get to that nectar which is in there. And in doing so, they get the pollen on their body, which then helps to pollinate other wild foxgloves. Now that's not the only use that this plant has. It's really interesting. This plant itself not only can uh, uh, be uh, pollinated by bees, but also eaten by humans. So the leaves of this plant are actually used as a spinach. They don't have a great taste when they're raw, but once you cook them up and boil them, the flavor goes away and it's actually quite edible. It's not the most nutritious and it's generally regarded as a poor man's food. So in very rural areas, you might find this is used quite a lot when people don't have access to supermarkets and shops. Now another use for this, which is very interesting, is that there are some uh, chemicals called anthraquinones, which have been isolated in this plant and, and found by chemical studies. Now there's not enough chemical studies done with it, but anthraquinines are actually used in the treatment of cancers like breast cancer and prostate cancer. So with more studies on this plant, there's every chance that the South African foxglove could really help to combat different types of cancer. It's a really special plant. So if you're ever out walking in the bush or driving and you see these plants on a long thin spike with these beautiful purple mauve flowers hanging down with these lovely dark stripes on the white petals, uh, this is called a wild foxglove, an awesome plant. Thanks for watching, I hope you really enjoyed it. Now, if you did enjoy it and there's any flowers that you'd specifically love us to cover on Flora Fridays, we'd love to hear from you. Please don't hesitate to write your comment on the box below and uh, hit the like and subscribe button and we'll try and see what we can do for you. Thanks for watching.